Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jasper Real, and I'm going to be um, talking here and there, just doing some commentary on this video. As you can see here, I'm hitting the heavy bag. I'm doing a one, two, and I'm shifting to the right under a jab, and then I'm doing a cross hook counter. So this is a sledgehammer workout that I'm doing right now. I'm actually not doing it completely correctly. You're supposed to grab um, close to the hammer and then swing it up and then slide your hand down. But uh, nevertheless, this is a good exercise. If you want to look at a, a different video of a demonstration, go look up sledgehammer workout and you can probably find something better. This here is a medicine ball throw. I'm uh, basically just doing the cross and throw in the medicine ball. It's an eight pound medicine ball. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the jab. The jab's a little hard, especially with the eight pound uh, medicine ball. Kinda looks like a volleyball a little bit. You could actually do this with the smaller medicine ball as well. I believe this is also eight pounds, maybe um, less. It's a little more bouncy, so it's a little easier to do it with one of these. And it's easier to catch and do it a little quicker. I'm just gonna do the the big medicine ball one more time. I do like that uh, that ball. I do like using it. It's pretty um, good workout. So I tend to like to do um, these medicine ball throws um, as a way to generate more power with my jab and cross. Uh, I've got a pretty good left hook and um, I've got pretty good uh, cross, but I could do better with the cross, and also improving power on the jab is also very important as well, so you can get some more power and uh, more pop in your jab. These are great for hooks. Um, it's a twisting motion. You're getting a lot of torque in these, so you go left and right, and then you uh, pivot your foot up just like you're doing a hook. In this exercise, um, it's kind of like a, a dumbbell clean with a single hand. Um, I'm stomping my feet and spreading them apart in a staggered stance similar to a boxing stance and I'm pushing forward with left foot and backward with the right foot and I'm using my hips to pop the weight up and I'm pulling the weight up with my arm and I'm locking out the arm at the top. This next exercise here, I'm just going to do, um, I think it's about 25 crunches on the, uh, the decline bench. It's meant for ab workouts or you could do dumbbell uh, presses on these, but uh, I'm just doing ab workout on it right now. If you want to develop more power in your punches, you absolutely do need to do more core work because you're not going to be able to generate enough torque to get um, shots that pop. So make sure you're doing a lot of core work. These are just the ab workouts that I'm doing today. Sometimes I do leg raises. Um, sometimes I do planks. Sometimes I do weighted crunches. Sometimes I do Russian twist. Um, I do all sorts of things. I do side planks, regular planks. Um, also, uh, I did not include this workout push-ups, but push-ups are very important if you want to generate um, pushing power. It's going to help you with your punching power if you do push-ups as well. I would recommend uh, every couple days try to do like 5 sets of 20 or 5 sets of 10 if you can. Work up to 100 reps in a day. But I would do those on your um, either on your off days or uh, on your chest days. So in the last clip, I was doing um, 
Doing my obliques. I was just doing twisting motion. It's kind of like a Russian twist, but with a 25 pound weight. And this one, I'm just doing uh, crunches with a 25 pound weight. If you're wondering how I get a lot of pop on my shots, I've been punching since I've been a very young kid, um, probably as young as maybe even eight or nine or 10. And I've been working out since I was about six. I've been doing uh, a lot of push-ups, a lot of um, pull-ups, um, a lot of ab workouts ever since I was six. Uh, these here, I believe they're called um, landmines i'm not exactly certain so if i'm wrong please don't get angry i just know what they look like and i do them and i'm doing them in a way that are uh that i'm benefiting the explosive power of my legs and again like the first workout where i was doing the single hand dumbbell clean i am exploding off the ground and i'm planting my feet pressing forward and backwards with my feet simultaneously as if I'm doing a cross. And these ones are, I forgot what they're called. Don't get mad at me. I'm a man of few words. I just punch stuff. Anyways, um, this is great to develop uh, core power, obliques, a lot more torque. In your punches especially in the hooks and your cross kettlebell swings uh, a lot of people do kettlebell swings wrong now I know this isn't perfect uh, form exactly uh, I do have a little bit of low back pain so I try to stay away from heavy weight with the kettlebell swing I just try to do it just to get the explosive um, benefit of this movement it's good for your posterior chain and uh, good for your hamstrings and your back so do this exercise, um, make sure you're using your hips and not your arms. So you're using your hips to pop the weight forward and the, uh, the kettlebell is hitting your backside. Thanks for watching.